Hello everyone, welcome to Book Talks. Today we are going to review Blue is for Nightmares by Lori Feria Stolars. And let's just jump right in. So this book is about a girl named Stacy. She goes to boarding school, she's a junior, and she's also a practicer of magic. And what she does is in this book she starts having these weird creepy dreams about her friend Drea. And as she goes on, she starts realizing that they start spelling out a bit of a dark fate for her friend. And as things start to get more intense and just much more dangerous, she has to race against time to do what she couldn't do before the last time this happened and figure out why the dreams are happening, what's going on, and what's going to happen to her friend. And that's basically it. And what I love about this book, what really drew me in was that um, the take on witchcraft was probably the biggest thing for me because nowadays you see a lot of books where the teenage main character is a witch or a wizard. You've got Harry Potter, you've got all sorts of books and they're all, they all do magic the same way. It's always a spell, an incantation, a wave of a wand and this book differs from that because this kind of witchcraft is different. It's more spiritual. What she's doing when she's performing these spells is she's trying to relieve tension and the way she does it is ceremonies, lighting candles, and they're very relaxed and it's all meant to be relaxed and more it's all got a goal of being spiritually cleansed. And I really liked that because that's a very unique take on witchcraft for today's, today's teen liter literature. And then moving on there were also two side characters that I just love. They're probably my favorite comic relief of all time. Their names are Amber and PJ. And I think what I like so much about them is that they're so much fun that if the author hadn't gotten them just right at this amount of time in the book, because they don't show up super often, but that's good because if they showed up any more than they do, they would probably just get annoying and feel like something that's a distraction from the actual plot. But in this case, they're actually really funny. They're great at just giving some relief at different times. They also help move the story forward. And I just love that. And they're probably two of my new favorite characters just in general throughout books. And then the last thing is probably that this book, while still promoting that spiritual cleansing and the funny side characters and everything, still has dark elements and tones to it. And I just think that that's really intriguing, and the whole idea of the dream spelling out the fate is just very interesting to me. And some of the other things, I don't want to spoil them here, but some of the other things that happen are pretty dark and pretty gritty and pretty interesting and just helpful to move the story forward. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I would recommend this book to anyone who's looking for something a bit shorter and, um, also just looking for a unique take on a topic that is in a lot of teen literature nowadays. And there are, it is a series, there are three more books. There is White is for Magic, um, Silver is for Secrets, and Red is for Remembrance. You can find the entire series in our school library. And that pretty much wraps this up. So yeah, I hope you read it. and. If you have any ideas, comments, questions, books that you'd like us to review, please comment below in the comments section, or you can email us at the email listed across the screen right now. I hope everyone watching has a really nice time reading. See us next time on Book Talks.